a good hand plane, an accurate tape measure, a set of sharp chisels, some portable and stationary power tools. These are all things you just expect to find in a modern woodworking shop. But there's another tool that also belongs here that you might not have thought of, and yet it's one that you probably already own. It's a smartphone or a tablet. The applications that these devices run can make everyday woodworking tasks so much easier. Applications are easy enough to find. Just click the App Store button on your device and you'll likely see the jillions of games and other apps that are available. To find woodworking apps, you can either type in the exact name or do a search. Here I've typed in woodworking and found dozens of different apps that fit that category. In the rest of this video, I'll share a few of the apps that I've tried out and found to be useful. Have you ever found or been given some logs and wondered what kind of tree they came from? Well, to find out, now all you need is a leaf from that tree and an iOS app called LeafSnap. The app has a really nice tree browser section with information and high quality photos of leaves, flowers, and seeds from hundreds of northeastern species. But its coolest feature is called Snap It. Simply place your mystery leaf on a white background and snap a picture of it with your tablet or smartphone. The app then uses recognition technology to compare your leaf to those in its database and produce a list of likely candidates. Most workshop projects require at least some math and a good calculator application such as Woodmaster HD can be indispensable. Here I'm using a dedicated board foot calculator to find out how much my latest lumber purchase will cost. I simply input the thickness, width, and length of each board, as well as the lumber's price per board foot, and the program automatically tallies the results for me. Woodmaster HD's other dedicated calculators include one that adds, subtracts, multiplies, or divides numbers with fractions in them. This is really handy, especially when the fractions have different denominators. There's a calculator that converts fractions to decimals and millimeters, and another that converts between various length standards, say millimeters to inches, centimeters to feet, yards to meters, and so on. There's also a golden ratio calculator that splits any dimension into two proportions that maintain the golden ratio that's so pleasing to the human eye. In addition, the app features a number of different charts that show common nail and screw sizes, as well as references to different kinds of woods and woodworking joints. But what if you just need to add up the footage of a stack of boards and don't have a smartphone or tablet? You can find a free board foot calculator on the internet at the URL shown below. This app-like program has boxes for inputting the dimensions of each board as well as the price of the lumber per board foot. The program then calculates the total footage and price of the board. Installing crown molding is less maddening when you use a dedicated calculator, such as this angle generator found online at the URL shown. Simply input the angle of the walls the molding will span as well as the molding spring angle, and the program generates both the miter and bevel angles necessary to cut your molding on a compound miter saw. There's also a handy chart 
that shows cutting angles for the two most common types of crown molding. Here I'm setting my saw to cut the left hand side of an outside crown molding corner. After resetting the saw, I go ahead and cut the right hand side of my outside corner joint. Another useful calculator found online at the URL below can take all the guesswork out of designing doors for any cabinet project. The Woodshop Calculator lets you choose from a number of different popular door styles. Here we'll choose an arch top door. The program lets you specify single or double doors, the dimensions of the cabinet opening, and the sizes of all door components, including the width and length of styles and rails. There are also boxes for you to input how far the door will overlap the cabinet's frame or clear the opening, as well as the clearance between double doors and more. Once you've input all the necessary dimensions, the program creates a parts list, complete with templates for cutting the arched door's upper rail curve and the top edge of its panel. With the price of plywood as high as it is these days, it's important to plan all your parts cutting to minimize both waste and the chance of making mistakes. The Carpenter Pro app for iOS devices is designed to optimize parts layouts on plywood and sheet stock of any size. After naming my project, I proceed to enter the name and dimensions of each part that's required, starting with the sides. Now that the dimensions are in place, I can specify the direction the grain is going to run, as well as how many of those parts I need. I save these, and then push the plus to add the next part. The process is repeated until I've input all the parts needed for my vanity cabinet. I then press the cut button and Carpenter Pro produces a graphic layout of each sheet of plywood needed for the project, with parts identified by both their name and dimensions. The next time you're installing a cabinet or a shelf, you can use an angle sensing app such as Spirit Level Gold to transform your smartphone into an accurate level. Simply set the edge of the phone on the surface and the app's dial face shows the number of degrees the surface is off level or plumb. Another cool app that's free for iOS devices, the Angle Meter, allows you to check the incline of walls, cabinet sides, countertops, and more by aligning a live image from your phone or tablet's built-in camera with an on-screen cursor.